Alrighty, so we are going to briefly make it started here. Um, continue discussion discussing adaptations. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth um, as to if it's physical or be you know a behavior that an animal or plant has, and I'll explain this week's assessment is not going to be just a simple quiz. It's going to be more of a research slash writing showing me some specific adaptations you found in an animal of your choice. So I thought, you know what, instead of doing a quiz, we're going to do a nice little writing assignment and let you pick an animal. So we'll continue this week. How do animals adapt? Remember that word adapt um, means to survive. So think about animals, they inherit characteristics, which means they take in characteristics from their parents. These special features from that animal and behaviors they, they get help them survive. So an adaptation is physical or behavior that helps that animal maybe get food, protect itself, move, or reproduce. A trait that think about animals have or you have is a physical feature. So we're going a little bit more in depth than last week. So think about if you have blonde hair, who do you get it from? It probably goes back to someone in your family. It might not be your mom and dad, maybe it was a grandparent, a relative down your family tree, same with animals. It's a physical feature. Sometimes there's not enough good resources to go around, we know in the environment, so animals that have excellent adaptations, which means they're able to survive a lot stronger, have a better chance of getting the resources they need. So if we go back to food chains, think about lions. They are the king of the jungle, okay? So they are at the top of the top of the food chain. They're, they're able to adapt their environment greatly, so therefore they have a better chance of getting resources they need to survive. Some specific bird adaptations. Remember, it helps them survive. They can be physical or behavior. Birds have feathers. It's a very important adaptation. It helps them fly. Um, also, their beak, the shape of it, helps them get their food. So think about when you look around on these beautiful spring days ahead of us at a duck, a geese, I know by me, we have a pond in my development, so I see little geese and other birds really pay attention to the shape of their beak. What does the shape of their beak do? It helps them get their food. So depending on what he, you know, that animal eats, you're going to notice, is it round? Is it pointy? Is it, you know, bigger or circular? So really pay attention when you go on walks at the shape of beaks and the purpose of purposes. It helps them get their food. It helps them adapt and survive. So here's some examples. A finch is a beautiful bird. Look at that beak. It eats mostly seeds. So it's typically an herbivore. Their beaks are made to help them crack the shells of the seeds. So it makes sense that their beak is a little pointy. A heron. You can definitely see a heron around us. They have very long, sharp beaks. What are they used for? Spearing fish. So they go in the water and kind of, you know, kill the fish that way. So we have a finch with a short, pointy beak and a heron with a long beak that helps them get their fish. It's helping them adapt. It's helping them survive, get their food. Hummingbirds. Oh my gosh, look at that one. If you've ever seen a hummingbird up close, they have very long, sharp beaks that help them get into the flower to get their nectar, which is nice and sweet, and that's their lovely food. And the hummingbird helps the flower to pollinate it. Polar bears, how do they adapt? Okay, so we're not talking about beaks anymore. They have very thick coats of fur that help them keep warm. Why do they need thick fur? Well, because they live in very cold um, climates. They also have very sharp claws. So typically animals and plants have more than one adaptation, okay? Think about you. You've got way more adaptations to help you survive. It's not just, you know, that we have hair. There's other 
adaptations that animals are going to have. So a polar bear is fur, sharp claws. The purpose of them is to keep them warm and the claws and sharp teeth are to help help them catch their prey and eat their prey. Uh, this is a cool fish, flounder. Not going to see any around us. They're found in, you know, salt water. They're different from most other fish. Both of its eyes are on the same side of its flat body, the top side. Really cool. And it kind of has an adaptation, too, of camouflage. It's blending in at the bottom of the ocean floor there. Crab-eating seal. How cute. They don't actually eat crabs. It eats krill, which is basically small shrimp, which is an arthropod. Big word there. The teeth are adapted. So look at those teeth. They're very small and round, not sharp, so that they can sift. Sift means if you've ever seen mom or dad, you know, make spaghetti, look at the strainer, kind of sucks in the water. So the krill has, op or the seal has openings to kind of sift the krill from the water. Look at this cool bird, P-T-A-R-M-I-G-A-M. -I -M. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. If, if I'm guessing the P is silent, um, I, I will research that and get back to you. But in the winter, it's white to blend in. And then in the summer, look at that, it changes color. That's a pretty cool adaptation that this bird ha has. And this... Um, is, an, is an awesome type of fish. kind of looks like a bug. So it kind of scares their predator, like get away from me. It looks like eyes. Just kind of kind of move through them a little quickly. Jellyfish has an adaptation. What is it? It contains poison to get rid of its lovely predators. Oh, uh, scorpion also has poison. So I'm going to go back to the first slide and tell you, you are not going to be expected to know, um, let me pull up the slide here. You're not going to be expected to know every adaptation of every animal, okay? But you should know why do they have, why do animals have ad adaptations and it's helped them survive. You should know that there's physical and behavior adaptations all to help them survive. And typically, it's to help them survive either in their habitat or to escape a predator. Okay, that's the big reason that animals have adaptation. Escape predators and survive in their habitat. Animals have different ways of moving. The faster they are, the more easy they can escape from their predator. Remember, a predator is the ones doing the eating and the prey is what they eat. So they don't want to be a prey. They want to escape their predators. So maybe they have wings. Um, maybe they have claws. Maybe they have camouflage. This is all to help them escape their predators. So we're going to stop there and i um, going to briefly kind of tell you your short science assessment this week. Okay, it is you're researching an animal of your choice. You don't need to ask for permission. Please stick to one. And you're going to find specific adaptations. Then you're just going to kind of write a nice little paragraph. It could be short, five, six, seven sentences, telling me your animal and your animal's adaptations that you research. Please do not copy and paste from the internet. Please put it in your own words. If you don't know the word, don't use it. You're stealing it. Um, maybe they have migration. That's a type of adaptation. Maybe they have camouflage. And again, they should have typically more than one adaptation to help them survive. So instead of taking a quiz, it will be a paragraph. So everything we've been talking about can definitely be something included in your paragraph. It could be a behavior, physical, um, any animal of your choice. So kind of brainstorm what you want to do and stick to it. And we'll stop there. Talk to you guys soon.